Hello, my name's Deborah Rose. I work part-time as a GP alongside my faculty commitments here as the BM5 programme lead and director of the GP teaching. I think this gives me a valuable insight alongside working with my healthcare professional colleagues um, as to the curriculum requirements, uh, learning and changes needed uh, to our curriculum for our students becoming junior doctors. The key features of our BM5 programme are the integrated systems-based learning approach that we adapt from the first week of learning and our early patient context and contact uh, which, is, which happens throughout years one and two in our medicine and placement courses as well as during our teaching. Alongside this in year two all our students undertake a healthcare assistantship placement in which they work with HCAs on the wards here in Southampton to learn the values of patient-centred care, professionalism and team working. Our research project in Year 3 Open to All Students enables them to gain a BMED Sci. We have newly developed modules in Years 4 and 5, in Year 4 an Acute Care module and in Year 5, our final year, a Personal Professional Development module. This module is particularly uh, focused on encouraging students to explore and develop their professional identity and to do so in the context of their clinical experiences. As I'm talking to you in June 2020, we've undergone a lot, a lot of change and made many adaptations to the teaching and learning that we've given to students to enable them to continue with their medical studies due to COVID-19. Obviously nationally and worldwide, we don't quite know how things will change over the upcoming months, but we're committed and dedicated to enabling our students to become doctors who can face the challenges and aspire to those challenges as junior doctors. We want our students to graduate as doctors, that patients want caring for them and that colleagues want to work with. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me.